ideal thoughts. There is a dark side to horse racing. Uh, We have a spill there on the turn. It never gets replayed. We had a massive spill there. All the the 23rd horse in three months was euthanized at Santa Anita Park because of racing injuries. Horse racing got harder to justify. Now, come out of the darkness to the light. Where do you want your carrots? He's something. A place where humans serve the horses. And the message is, hey, you bald-headed sack of trash, get over here and give me carrots. He, he thought, all right, all right. The horse racing world has plenty of breeders, owners, trainers, and riders, but only one savior. Stop it. Stop it. A man who's never been to the Kentucky Derby runs a farm with derby winners like Silver Charm. Oh, can I have my kiss? Thanks. And War Emblem. Because he will bite you. And when he bites you, it's not like Amazombies nudge. I'm coming! 72-year-old Michael Blowen manages fields full of horses who have a good excuse to be ornery. Then he ended up with metal plates in his leg and 27 screws. Because many of them have been rebuilt after horrible injuries. And his ankles look big and all that. And, you know, again, he gave, gave his all on the, on the racetrack. Now his ankles are fused. When you run a farm for reconstructed horses and you used to be a Boston Globe film critic, you're allowed to have an opinion on the criticism crushing the horse racing industry right now. A healthy horse without any pre-existing conditions will run over glass to win a race and come back sound. But if they have problems and you race them, it's going to be exa- it might be exacerbated by the track. There are things that you can use for horses that were, that were invented and intended and manufactured to help them get over injuries. So there's pain medications, there's shockwave therapy, there's all kinds of things that, were, that are made to really help the horses. But like everything else in life, if it's misused, then it could have tragic consequences. Old Friends Farm began with one leased paddock and one horse. It's now a sprawling 200 acre farm with 175 horses that have been rescued, repaired, and restored, and they just keep coming. And he runs on it, it's ugly as sin, but all his bones are fused now. Dr. Richardson, who did the operating on Barbaro, he's the one that fixed his leg. Blowing is no doctor, but as old friend's farm grows, he has learned there is a link between excelling and swelling hobbling, limping. The ones that are great are the smart ones and the ones that give it all, all the time. And if you're giving it all, all the time, you're much more susceptible to injuries. The former film critic has seen this movie so many times. And they'd say, well, this is just one of the unintended consequences. You know, this happens to horses. You know, they die. And I'm going, that's not the answer. That's just not the answer. The best answer is right here at a veterans hospital for horses and old folks home. All right, we're going now. Old bones, old scars, old friends. These horses rescued me that I didn't rescue them.